Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. A 14-year-old boy and a 30-year-old man died in the St. Elizabeth community of Kensham near Balaclava during a lightning storm this afternoon. The two, along with another man who escaped unscathed, were picking pears when the lightning struck. The People's National Party is to seek a magisterial recount in the Clarendon Northwestern constituency, which recorded 1,107 rejected ballots in last week's general election. In the final count, the Jamaica Labour Party's Philip Henriquez polled 5,630 votes to unseat the incumbent People's National Party's Richard Azan by 83 votes. The political ombudsman Donna Parchment Brown has called on residents of Kingston Central who are aware of vote buying in the September 3 election to lodge official reports with her office. Scores of residents claimed that cash packages of up to $15,000 were wrapped in t-shirts and given away in exchange for votes. The Industrial Disputes Tribunal has ruled that former Petrojam General Manager Howard Mollison was improperly dismissed in 2016. The IDT has also ruled that Mr. Mollison should be paid $15.8 million in compensation. In sports, sporting associations and stakeholders say Olivia Grange should be returned as the sports minister in the Andrew Holness-led cabinet. Holness is expected to name a full cabinet soon. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $145.37, the British pound sterling for $191.75, and the Canadian dollar for $113.71. In your weather forecast, Thursday will be partly cloudy in the morning. In the afternoon, there will be widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across sections of most parishes. And that's it for the Lunar Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.